hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel in today's video i would like to share with you how you are going to search and find universities in the u.s in canada germany australia uk all the top countries that is the destination to a lot of international students i'm going to assist you to find and search for those universities for us for instance has over 5000 universities here in the us in my previous videos i've spoken about some universities which are waiving application fee test score and other factors but my viewers are not supposed to limit themselves to only those universities there are 5000 plus universities in the us so how are you able to explore? How are you able to what, search for all these 5,000 universities and fish out those universities which are going to give you a good scholarship as well? So guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you're going to what, find and search. So today is about find and search or search and find anyways let's go straight into the laptop and let me show you how you're going to do that find over 5,000 plus universities in the u.s over thousand plus universities in canada and other nations so guys let's go straight into the laptop as i show you how you're going to what find all these universities so as we're going to start we're going to begin with the u.s because I'm currently here in the US and I was able to study in the US. And so how I was able to search all the 5,000 universities, I'm using this opportunity to show you how I did it and how I was able to settle on a lot of universities who gave me admissions as well as what scholarships. So guys, let's go straight into the laptop and find out. So when you come to the United States of America, the United States of America is made up of 50 states, 50 states. So out of the 50 states, each state has more than 400 universities and colleges. So, if we are able to, if we can find out the 5,000 universities, then we need to break it down to the 50 states in the US. So, all the 50 states, you take it one after the other. So, what you're going to do is that the first thing you're going to do is you need to identify all the 50 states. After we are done identifying all the 50 states, then we take it. So, let's say for instance, Connecticut. Connecticut is one of the 50 states in the United States. So what you're going to do is that we just search for universities in Connecticut. And since Google has answers to all our problems, so we just go straight and find out. So first of all, we need to search for um, the 50 states in the United States. So we just search, go to Google, the 50 states, the 50 states of America. So yes so we have the 50 states of america here so once we search and we're able to find out so a list of the states and territories in the united states so we just go ahead and click on the first option which is what list of wikipedia is giving us the list of states you know of the united states of america so once you're able to do that you just wait for it to respond so we all the 50 states have been listed here so we have Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, um, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut. As I spoke to you earlier, we have Connecticut here. So we're going to take each of the universities, the states, and search for universities in that particular state. So first of all, we have Alabama here. So we just, we just open a new folder. So we just go to Google then we search for so the first state is what uh, alabama so we come here we, we open a new page if you are using a phone just go on google search for 50 states of america then from there you open a new tab then you now search for universities in alabama alabama so here we have so you, you press enter so we are, we are not going to yes so 
we have University of Alabama, Urban University here, we have Alabama. So there are 100 plus and colleges. So we click on it to help us with all the what universities and colleges. So and then it's very important. So right now you have it here. All these are all the universities in Alabama, in the state of what Alabama. So we have the Alabama, the University of Alabama. And guys, always I say that check out the university's acceptance rate. If you have a low GPA, make sure you are applying to university with a high acceptance rate. So for the first university here, we it has a acceptance rate of 79%, which is is, is good. So students with low GPA can also apply to this university. So we have Urban University. This is also public. And check the acceptance rate, 71 and the graduation rate is what 79 percent you understand so then we now so these are all the universities so if you're interested in a particular university you you can click on it so let's say you're interested in university of alabama so this is the overview of it and if you're interested we have the website which is a website so dot edu so we click on it then it will take us straight into the university's what website and so if you're interested that is how you're going to do um and apply to the university in what alabama or university of alabama yeah so guys this is how you're going to do so once you're able to we come to the ask always i show you you come to university of alabama this is the university's website so they're asking to what um yes i understand so if you enter the school's website the first thing i always tell you that you need to search for the programs and find out if the program the universities are offering is something that interests you so you now go to what academics and find out and search if the programs they're offering so programs of study is written right here so we have undergraduate majors and graduate programs so if it's undergraduate we have over 70 undergraduate programs and we have over 120 so you click if it's graduate programs you're interested you click on graduate programs and it's gonna hurt help you out and find the programs of interest so these are all the graduate programs so you go, go ahead and find out so guys this this is one of the state which is university of what universities in alabama so once we are done with that then the next state is what alaska we have alaska so we just go to google and we search for what universities in alaska so we are done with one state and one particular state as we did initially it has over 100 plus universities and colleges so we now go to google and search the next state which is universities it's poor because there are more universities in one particular state so it's poor so universities in alaska so we click enter so universities in alaska yes so alaska is one of the state or alaska state so you see there are a lot of universities in alaska so we have the university of alaska and courage we have university of alaska fairbanks we have university of alaska, alaska southeast each of the so we have alaska pacific university so if you want to know more about all the other universities you click more colleges or universities so so guys you can see that alaska has a lot alaska has a lot of universities has a lot of universities so you just go down you see it keep loading so it keeps loading so there are a lot of colleges and universities you can see and some this university university of alaska in the southeast has 96 percent acceptance rate this is the university that people with low gpa can find out it's not only low gpa even if you have a good gpa and but you are interested in universities that has acceptance because you want to apply and make sure that if that university is your dream university, they're going to get what accepted. So, guys, so you go to the university's website and find out if they're also giving good financial aid. It's very important. So, these are the universities in. So, that's how you're going to search. This is how you're going to search it. So, th that's how it applies to all other states. So, let's take my state for instance. So, we have um, Connecticut. Connecticut is here. So we just go ahead, we go to Google and find out universities in Connecticut. This will be the last state I'm going to do. I want to also tackle the other countries. So you just search universities in Connecticut. It's already here. 
So we click on it. So in, with the universities in Connecticut, we have 100 plus colleges. So we click on it to explore more of the universities in Connecticut. So we have Connecticut College, Eastern Connecticut State University, and um, we have Central Connecticut State University, University of Connecticut, Southern Connecticut State University. That was my school. And Yale University, we have Wesleyan University, Fairfield University, Albertus Magnus College, we have Trinity College, Western Connecticut. So there are a lot of it. So if, you, if each of those that you are interested in, just click on each of the universities and go and check. There might be even the school that we have an application fee giving good scholarship. So it's up to you, the student, to go and what? Find out. So, guys, this is how you're going to search for the 5,000 plus universities in the US. You take each of the states, you search universities in that particular state, then you, you, you're going to find out. So, guys, let's check the other countries. So, we just go to Google. Google has the answer. So, we click on Google. Then we now search. So, let's take like a country like Canada. So, you just search for universities. Universities in Canada. For international students, you can use for all universities in Canada. They are the same thing. It's going to give you the same results. So, universities in Canada. So, with Canada, it's, it already started here. So we have University of Toronto, Toronto, uh, University of British Columbia, University of Waterloo, Western University, Toronto, Me Toronto Me Metropolitan University, University of Ottawa, University of Geth, Con Concordia University. So just click here, then it will take you to the other universities in Canada. So if you're interested in universities in UK, to be just universities in UK, then you click on enter for international students, or you just search universities in UK, it's still going to give you the same results. So when you come to UK, we have University of Oxford, University of Cambridge, Universities of University of London, Imperial London College, Imperial College in London, University of Manchester, University of Be Beckenham, Edinburgh University, Durham University, University of Bristol. So if you want to search for more, you click here, then you see more universities in UK are popping up. More universities. So the one that you're interested in, so if let's say you're interested in the University of what West of England, you click on it, then it's gonna take you to what the university's website. So that's how it works. So it comes here. So the first option is gonna take you, or if you're interested in using the right corner website, you see the website is here. Either you click here or you click on the first option, it's gonna take you to the university's website. So if you want to also study in Germany. Then you just search for universities, universities in Germany, and yes, so universities in in Germany for international students or universities in Germany, they're gonna all gonna give you the same results. So universities in Germany too. That's how you're gonna search it. You have um, University of Freiburg. They have Freif. These, I think this is a French word, Technical University, and we have Hamburg University of Germany. We have a lot of it, so you click here and exploit all the universities in Germany. So guys, if you are searching for universities in any country that interests Australia, so you just come universities in Australia. So this is not difficult, universities in Australia for international students, universities in Australia, they're all going to give you the same results. So you come to universities in Australia, you have University of Melbourne, you have Australian National University, the Monash University, University in Sydney, University of Sydney, University of Western Australia. So the one that you're interested in, if it's Sydney, you click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to assist you, go to the link and choose the first option. Mostly University of Sydney is here and you have the website, you click on it, it's going to take you. And the first thing is that once you go to the university's website, the first thing is to check if the program that interests you, the university is offering. From there, you also go and check financial aid or scholarships before make sure the university is offering good scholarship before you apply. Don't just go ahead and apply, no. And also, you need to also, as you find out the program that interests you, you can also go ahead and send code emails to professors. Who knows? There might be a research or graduate assistantship available for international students. 
send emails to professors and find out if there is what um, a graduate assistant available for international students and also maybe they might be waiving application fee who knows they might be waiving so guys thank you for watching this video if this is your first time here like this video comment and subscribe and my name is joshua my team and i are willing to assist you study in that dream country and get that good scholarship to study in that dream country so guys if this is something that interests you like this video and subscribe subscribe to this channel and let's grow this channel together thank you all and i love you guys bye bye